A Perth council is using the latest in surveillance technology to find people who are breaking the law. Their new weapon, a squadron of drones watching from the sky and catching everything on camera. This vision was captured by a new eye in the sky, catching people in the act, illegally driving through protected sand dunes, some driving recklessly near families and children. And when the families are approaching them to say that's highly irresponsible, don't do that, then seeing fit to do burnouts literally and spraying sand everywhere. So it's just not acceptable. City of Wanneroo Rangers caught one illegal driver every day during the summer school holidays and suspect there were many more. But with 30 two kilometres of beach and 200,000 local residents, ground patrols simply can't keep up. Mayor Tracy Roberts says they've had to get inventive. We've actually had drones in the air and we've had no, we've taken no pleasure in doing so, but it's a stance we've had to take. The city of Wanneroo also uses drones to patrol for illegal rubbish dumping. It's the first WA council to do this kind of aerial surveillance. According to ordinary concepts, it could be an invasion of your privacy. But legally, there's nothing to stop them using one to film you in a public space. These days, with the growing prevalence of drones, there must be an argument that you could reasonably be, expect to be observed uh, wherever you are. If you're not doing something illegal and that's four-wheel driving on the beach and compromising the safety of the community, then you won't be captured. Perth's other big councils say at this stage they have no plans to follow suit. Some, including the city of Stirling and town of Cambridge, have banned people using drones on beaches altogether to protect privacy. The Wanneroo Beach drones are currently on trial. So far, they've been able to successfully capture offenders' number plates so fines can be issued. The council is currently trying to pass legislation that will see the minimum infringement for driving in a restricted area up from $100 to $500. But if that driver is also accused of reckless driving, they can be prosecuted for up to $5,000. Coincidentally, in WA, the maximum fine for using a drone to spy on a private property is also $5,000. The Surveillance Act prohibits anyone, including councils, from flying drones within 30 metres of people or buildings. Privacy law expert Paul Fletcher thinks those laws need to be tougher in WA. He's calling for all drones to require a digital registration number that can be identified with a smartphone app. You would be able to de determine the registration number of the drone that's intruding on your privacy or intruding on your life, I would then be able to report that to the authorities and have something done about it. A full list of drone regulations can be found on the CASA website. Jerry DeMassey, Nine News.